This picture shows B-17 Flying Fortress with serial number 4297176. B-17176 was shot down by friendly fire with the result of 8 deaths. Let's take a look to the basic history of this B-17 at first. B-17 Flying Fortress 4297176 was a G model and a Boeing manufactured aircraft. It was delivered to Cheyenne on February 7, 1944 and assigned to 710th Bomb Squadron 447 Bomb Group at Rattison, England on March 4, 1944. On Saturday, May 20, 1944, B-17-42 97176 was the aircraft of Lieutenant Archibald E. Towns crew for the mission to bomb the marshalling yards at Leech, Belgium. When the B-17 was over the North Sea, it was struck by caliber 50 bullets of an unknown friendly B-17 while test firing their guns. Fire broke out on left wing when about in mid-channel on route into the target. The entire crew of 10 seen to bail out before aircraft dove into water. Search was made by Royal Air Force Air Sea Rescue, but only the pilot First Lieutenant Archibald E. Town and co-pilot Second Lieutenant Robert C. Lewis were recovered alive. The rest of the crew drowned. The following is the eyewitness account of co-pilot Second Lieutenant Robert C. Lewis. We were flying about 20,000 feet, about 23 miles out from the English coast when Lieutenant Town called to me, no aileron control. I then gave a quick glance around and could see the right wing on fire and a row of holes in it. They appeared to be bullet holes. I then tried to call the crew, but the radio was out and Lieutenant Town was trying also. Lieutenant Town turned an alarm and the engineer went to nose to tell crew. I then followed the engineer in bailing out of the bomb bay doors from which the bombs had been dropped as soon as we were clear of the formation. I saw two chutes on the way down. One I knew to have been the engineer because his chute opened just below mine. The second statement was made by pilot First Lieutenant Archibald E. Town. Was flying lead in the high squadron. 25 miles from the English coast, altitude about 20,000 feet. My first indication of trouble was the lack of Alarian control. I switched on AFCE and had no control with that. A gas fire started behind number four engine. A row of holes from the trailing edge to the engine was caused by someone test firing his guns and I believe is what caused the damage. I tried to call the lead ship, could not transmit, then tried station frequency and it was dead. Interphone system was also out. I threw the alarm switch and had the engineer tell the navigator and bombardier to bail out. Then the engineer and co-pilot went into the bomb bays and jumped. I had previously jettisoned my bombs. I had turned the ship with rudder back towards the English coast, then left my seat, walked back through the bomb base and opened the radio door, and looked back through the ship. I could not see anyone back there, so I left the ship through the bomb bay. At the time I jumped, I could see no other chutes around. Of the other crew members, left waist gunner John T. Schoenberger was the only one recovered dead by Royal Air Force Air Sea Rescue. Seven crew members never was found.